Hello YouTube, it's uh, Steve here, thanks for tuning in to my channel. Um, I'm making a video today to show you how I'm going to repair a um, faulty PC monitor, which is, when it's turned on, it's completely blank, there's no, no life at all. So, um, you can repair these things for as little as 50p, even for nothing, by using some scrap metal from, or scrap parts from old PCBs use um, units. Uh, there's loads of classes on there to choose from. And I'll go through with you um, how to use and select the right one soon enough. Okay, I'm going to take apart this uh, piece, this PC screen now, and uh, I'll show you what's inside. Okay, now this is the back of the actual uh, PC monitor. Uh, this bit is what we're looking at here. This is the power supply unit. And we're looking for um, bulged uh, capacitors. I'll give you an example of what I've found in this one, and I've taken it out already. It's uh, this one here. You can see the top is blown. It's had a power surge sometime along its life, and it's bulged the top off. Okay, there was two of these that have gone. The other one. This one, not so bad, but it's still bulging at the top. It should be nice and flat. So I've removed these two. Put the plug off. Very carefully take the PC unit out. Now, these are the two here that I've actually replaced just now. That one there and that one there. Now, they're actually different to the ones I actually had taken out of it. One of them is actually the right value, it's uh, 25 volts at 220 microfarads. The other one I used was a 35 volt, uh, 330 microfarad uh, capacitor. Now the important thing with these things are is that you actually use the a value higher than what was already in there. So if, you, if I was using a 10 volt capacitor, it would blow almost straight away. Uh, the microfarads again. Use something which is equivalent to or close to or higher, otherwise, it will blow the capacitor when you turn it on. Okay, so you just unsolder them out, turn them back in again. These are the replacements I've used, these two here, and they are what will make it work. So, we're going to put it back in together now, and I will uh, turn it on and see what happens. Yes, so I, I used, in, in uh, my replacement capacitors, I used uh, two capacitors I had to replace. Uh, one, both were bulged, one was worse than the other one. Um, with the replacements that I used, out of uh, an old bit of PCB board I've had to kick around the house for ages, from some stereo or something from years ago, um, I used a uh, 35 volt and a 330 microfarad capacitor on one side. Um, the original ones were 25 volts at 220 microfarads, uh, so what I selected was larger, bigger capacitance, so it would be fine um, in, in, in this particular instance. Okay, so the other one was actually the right value, so they're both different, but they both do the same job, so it will still be fine. Okay, um, now on to the next bit. Okay, I've um, reinstalled the uh, PCB board into place, it's uh, earthed, screwed down. Screw into place, the uh, ribbon cable's back on again. So now this PCB board is now complete 
in place. I've got to put it back together again and try it out. So uh, here goes. Okay, I've got it um, plugged into the mains and uh, into my laptop to see if we can get uh, some uh, joy out of this. I'll we'll turn the screen on. One of the switches. Power on. Ah. Okay, turn my laptop on. We'll see if we get any life out of it. Yep. We have a monitor working. Okay. So, let's give it a test. Um, open a browser. So we can drag it across to the um, other screen. There we go. Yep. And I've got two screens, dual screen now, obviously working now. That's great. And. Great. It's all working fine. Lovely. So I can have. Ah. So there you go, it's uh, two capacitors blown, um, one small problem which can make uh, the difference of just the two components. Now they can buy these things at um, any Macklin store or any electronic store uh, for about 21p each. I mean I've got mine out of some old units, some of these things, um, which, you know, hanging around the house, that's for the eight years of my shed. They're full of capacitors on these things, but just check the values on them again and the polarity when you put them in. But we have a working screen again. And uh, rather than throw things away these days, it's always nice to be able to repair things and, and keep your money in your pocket. And uh, any questions at all, please ask, and I'll see if I can answer them for you. I hope this video was some help to you. And uh, say, anything you need to know, give us a shout. Take care. Cheers. Bye-bye.